I'm, I actually represent um, residents of public housing in New Orleans um, in a class action lawsuit to reopen public housing. Homelessness has doubled. There are 12,000, estimated 12,000 homeless people in New Orleans right now. Um, there is a lack of affordable housing. The rents have gone sky high. People are getting ready to be kicked out of the FEMA trailers. Um, and they're going to be given vouchers and told to go find some place to live. Um, there were, prior to Hurricane Katrina, there were 5,100 families living in public housing. There were 7,100 units. They had been squeezing the poor out of New Orleans prior to Katrina. Um, on December 15th, they are scheduled to start the bulldozing of public housing in New Orleans. The government, the federal government, is the one calling the shots. They run the Housing Authority of New Orleans. They are going to demolish 5,000 units of public housing. And this is public housing that was built to withstand hurricanes. It's up three feet um, of stairs. They are all brick buildings that were, that were um, built in the 30s and 40s. We had an expert who's an architect from MIT as an expert in the case who said these buildings, all you need to do is put some new flooring and do some mold removal, which is very easy to do. But this is part of the bigger plan around New Orleans, where no poor people are allowed to come back. The right to return does not exist. And so um, December 15th, um, the bulldozing will start. We have tried every legal maneuver that we possibly could. We have been denied every way because there is not the will from the power structure, whether it be the federal judges, whether it be the city officials, elected officials did not want to be in the middle of this. The best thing to do for an elected official is to be quiet because you don't want to be on the side of your constituents because, in fact, the developers are now your constituents. You don't want to be on the side of the developers just in case those people come back and vote. So we are asking people to be in solidarity with the public housing residents of New Orleans. Um, Sam will tell you a little bit about the plans for December 15th. But this is an opportunity to stand against injustice and to also understand that this is happening in every city in the United States. Poor people are unwanted in our country. And if we don't stand for it in New Orleans, which is ground zero on the war on the poor, then we are going to see it happening everywhere. Thank you.